New York Yankees fans, how's it going yet again? It is Felix from NYNews.com. Like always, hola, como estas? Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed your weekend. I know it's Tuesday, but it means I woke up with a hangover on Monday. So let's get to it. Hal Steinbrenner, the owner of the New York Yankees, the chosen one. He beat all his other siblings to be the man. He beat Hank. Specifically, let me ask you guys a question. Has Hal Steinbrenner proved himself as owner of the New York Yankees. Hmm? People argue in 2009 he was in charge of the Yankees. Hmm, I don't know. I don't know. Fast forward, the signing of Jacoby Ellsbury, McCann, you know, all those horrible signings. In my honest opinion, Hal Steinbrenner hasn't proven himself. And it is time he does. You know why? Because this could be the last big contract signing let's say, going out outside of the Yankees that the Yankees make. Two 26-year-olds that haven't even reached their prime yet in MLB and who have become superstars in MLB who would automatically improve your ball club, the look of your ball club, the intimidation factor, etc., if added to your ball club. Now, a starting picture would be great. It would be awesome. But the Yankees have an abundance of starting pitchers in the minor leagues. That, hey, if you ask me, you should give them a shot. Don't give me those excuses saying, oh, I'm not going to get Manny Machado or Harper because we prefer to get a starting pitcher. Have you seen the Yankees? Are people living a dream? You didn't see the Yankees strike out like over a million times? Not hitting with runners in scoring position? The Red Sox and their organization running all over the Yankees. You didn't see that? The Yankees as an organization, they have lost, let's say, their reputation of being respected. Nobody respects the Yankees anymore. You all saw it, how I documented it on this channel precisely. Even Major League Baseball was trolling the Yankees. Boston trolling the Yankees. All these teams trolling the Yankees. You know why? Because they're not respected. They're not going out there and making the moves that they're supposed to make. Sure, people could argue they got John Carlos Stanton. But again, that's laughable because he's only a DH. And he's not being marketed full time, let's say, as a left fielder. A DH making 25 and is going to increase to $32 million per season. I mean, that's ridiculous. So Manny Machado specifically is the full package defensively and offensively. And even in the clubhouse with his attitude, he's going to be a great addition to the Yankees. And God forbid he goes to a contender. Because whatever contender gets Manny Machado, they're going to make the World Series for years to come. In my previous video, speaking upon Miguel Andujar, I said something about 10 years. What I was talking about was a pinstripe alley article that states that Miguel Andahar has been the worst third baseman defensively in the last 10 years. And it's well documented. And in that article it states he's not going to improve because his career stats say so. That he has never improved playing defense at third base. All I'm seeing from the Yankees, the front office specifically, is stall tactics. Oh, forget Manny. We're going to get a starting pitcher now. Oh, forget Manny, we like uh, Arenado better. I like Nolan Arenado. But it's a stall tactic. Anybody can see it by now. It's telling your fan base, hey, shut up. Um, We'll give you hope for next season. No, the season of hope has to be now. I don't want to hear the Yes Network guys say, be parrots and say, the Yankees are out on Machado, they're out on Harper. We don't know. They haven't signed anywhere. So I don't want to hear these parrots at the Yes Network. I like the Yes Network, but they have become propaganda tools of, obviously, somebody in the Yankees front office. Because this is ridiculous at this point. You're the New York damn Yankees. Act like it. And again, Hal Steinberger can make a statement going out there and getting a Machado or Harper. You know why? Because he won't have to make that decision for the, let's say, the next six years or ten years. Because you know what, Hal? You would have the excuse of, let's say, the perception of Yankees fans being delusional because you just got Manny Machado and what else do they want? If you get somebody like Manny Machado or Harper, 
we won't have to sit here every offseason and contemplate if the Yankees are going to be Yankees light or really the New York Yankees. Make the move, how? Make it, because it's just going to be a recycling event every offseason where we sit back and wonder, hmm, are the Yankees going to do something or not? Or are they going to continue to be the laughing stock in Major League Baseball or not? All of these platforms, people, teams, etc. are disrespecting the Yankees because it shows, it's just a reflection of who's running the Yankees. So, long story put short, you make your bark now, and you don't have to worry about, let's say, hearing Yankees fans hounding you to sign players because they have no excuse to hound you because you went out there and got a generational talent that doesn't come by very often. It's common sense. So, Yankees fans, like always, leave your opinions in the comment section below. This has been Felix from NYNews.com. Share, like, and subscribe, and I'll check you out next time. Before it hits the front page, NYY